Welcome back to the channel and to a new video. Today we're going to talk to you about two items. We're going to talk to you about the MB Tactical Ghost Mask and the uh, MB Tactical Paraclava. My personal opinion, what I've seen online, they're becoming very popular. So that's why I got one for myself and let's see. So first of all, to start the review, let's see what's in the box. It came in this super nice box, but I go real out of shit at this thing because I was so excited. So this beautiful box that it came in is not so beautiful anymore. But first of all, we have a nice glossy sticker with a website on. And a nice cardboard information card, also super nice quality, with a QR code you can scan. Nice. Attention to detail. Very nice. Also, I had a patch, but I did this purchase in a group buy with some team members, so I have no idea if you always get a patch. But in my case, I have a patch, so. But I have no idea if you buy one single part that you always get a patch. So don't shoot me if you don't get a patch. Then for the Baraclava, uh, oh, oh yeah, and the mask itself, <laughs> of course, let's get into that later. And the Baraclava came in this nice baggie, also with a QR code, if you want to scan it, go ahead that you can open and close again. So you can store it if you want after using. Now, to get deeper into the reviews, we're gonna start with the Baraclava. So, to get started, this is the Baraclava V2. If you look on their website, they also have an up, the neck gator, but this is the Baraclava. The neck gator has an open Top, let's say, the top part is open. Uh, this is at the at the website forty uh, twenty four ninety nine euros. That is, comes in three variations of co uh, three color variations. You have tan, olive, and black. This is the tan, obviously. It's a super nice fabric. It's bacteriostatic, hypoallergenic, and non odor. So also nice. If you can see, it has. Four ventilations on the top of the, the your head. Mm, nice, love it. Fresh, fresh on the ears and the front. And why do I say four? That I show, you, but I only show you three. One, two ears. You have two ears. The and it's long enough. If you can see, so you can put it in your clothing. And if you also see behind the mouth area, there's another stretchy part. I think this is uh, for the design, so it will nicely flow with your body. And if you can see on the back, it also has this fabric. Hope you can see it. Yeah, there we go. So, super nice. This thing is very comfortable, and for hot days, the ventilation is a is a plus for me. So, and also, if you're wearing over the uh, over the ear uh, ear pro, it's also nice. So, it doesn't sound as muffled. Let's say, so the sound can uh, can go through this ventilation holes way better than just the solid uh, fabric. So, super nice. That aside, let's get into the mask. Woo! Ta -da. So, if you can see, they have their logo in a small foamy uh, patch thingy just there for for looks and promotion for the the brand because it's not an actual 
function is glued on there, if I can tell. And they also added a rubbery plastic uh, edge to the mask for your comfort. So it's also nice. Like you can see, the mask has an indent here. That's just for the nose. So you're, you have extra space for your nose. And that is not always thumping into your, uh, your nose. Also nice. And then you have a metal mesh. Feels metal, so I think it's metal. In black. Why do I say black? This is the only color they, uh, they sell this thing, black, and it's just in one size. The price of this mask is 34.99 euros, and it's rated up to 500 FPS. So, super nice. So what did I do? If I look on um, some pictures on Instagram, and you see them running this mask, some people, you see, the, the shape of the mask extremely hard so you have the ability to nicely fit it around your face for, for comfort so what did I do when I got it out of the box put it around my face I felt for, for gaps no, not pushing it against my face but just holding it like that and just feeling the edges and where the mask did not meet my face I just did some small adjustments. So at this point, it's nice around my face with no gaps. So if you're wearing the balaclava with this, you almost can see uh, if you're wearing uh, protection. So and how does it work? It doesn't come with straps, so you have to use it in conjunction with uh, something like a balaclava or a buff or something because it doesn't have straps or the ability to add straps. But just put the balaclava on. This thing is nice, fits like, it fits very good, ah, look at me. And you just, you can go from the bottom, but I think it's easier just to pull it forward, put it behind, and you're good to go. So, nice. And just like that, you're, you have your protection and like you can see, because the mask is there, the stretchy breathing material, let's say, is opened a little bit more and you just can breathe normally. <laughs> so as you can see, I run it behind my nose now, you also have the ability to, to run it over your nose it even looks uh, cooler but the only thing that I, uh, the only thing that I noticed when I'm running it I only use it once this combination but what I noticed is when I run it over my nose I tried it a few times I have a little bit of fogging still on my glasses and if I run it like this none whatsoever so, so for me this is super nice because you look nice with this combination you have deep protection and you can breathe normally run like crazy and yeah thumbs up and if I have a small negative uh, point for this combination is when I'm talking tactics or whatever to my friends and or, or you're running sometimes you just need to readjust the position of your mask because if you are talking you see the mask is a little bit lower so quick readjustment and you're good to go is that a negative side yeah maybe maybe not 
small one, but I don't care. I don't mind. Just a little nudge and back. So still nice product. I also tried the Venom in combination with two other balaclava that I own and the Buff. Does this work? Yeah. Is it as comfortable as the, the balaclava from MB Tactical? No. Not even close. And you, with the balaclava from MB Tactical you can breathe as normal with no issues and with the other uh, three that I tried you can't. So is it possible? Yes, but in this case, I think you should support the brand because they make some nice products and to keep them going and maybe in the future, what else would they bring? So in this case, I would uh, suggest to support the brand because extra comfort, breathability, so they make nice products. Then, uh, it's rated at 500 FPS. I did a little test here in the yard I only have six meters in my yard concealed, let's say, so the neighbors don't see me shooting shit. <laughs> so I did a little setup. I shot uh, the mask with a 0.25 BBs. These shot it with Nupro, red Nupro 3 with my Tokyo Mary uh, MP7. So I think this is around uh, 300 FPS or something. At a range of six meters ish and I shot it a couple times before the video and there is not even a scratch on this thing so only thing that I saw was a little bit of white residue from the from the bio, uh, BBs just wiped it off good as new it's rated at 500 FPS I know but I haven't tested that so uh, you have to do with this test <laughs> but the test went perfectly uh, don't even see an indent or nothing with uh, with this, so this thing works perfectly. I'm gonna use it this weekend in a CQB terrain, so I hope it also withstands uh, that terrain, but uh, I don't doubt it because 6 meters, 300 FPS with 0.25s and it withstands it perfectly, so I'm not scared to run this. And you can say what you want, but if you're running uh, protection gear that you can trust and you're peeking around a corner, let's say, in, in the CQB terrain, the peeking around the corner <laughs> is with more, way, way, way more confidence than you're just, than just holding your lips together and, or a scarf like this that I see uh, do some people. The confidence, le confidence level of this thing goes through the roof. So for me, for my playstyle, CQB, yeah, this is a super nice item. So big shout out to MB Tactical for making this thing. Super nice product. And keep doing what you do. So this was the review of the MB Tactical Venom V3 and the Baraclava from MB Tactical. Hope you liked the video and that will show with a little thumbs up or if you hate the video or didn't like it, thumbs down. And if you want to see more videos and like my face, yeah. so consider subscribing and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!